Father, nothing, nothing, nothing will take us from God. No situation, no circumstance will take us from God. We shall reside in Him. We shall abide in Him. We shall remain. but it is only one that the world has named good and that is today even in these difficult times and these difficult hours we believe that today shall be a good day today has been named a good day it is a great day it's a wonderful day it's a day that your your soul will be lifted it's a day that your healing is coming to you it's a day that you will be restored it's a day that the blood will speak on your behalf and let me tell you our team for the revival in this week is Christ suffering our sufficiency. Christ suffering our sufficiency. And I want to let you know, my brother and sister, if you just join us, Christ died on the cross to save you and I. And his death, the suffering on the cross, for he was wounded for our transgression. Because of that, your sufficiency is made available this morning. Today is a good day. Today is a good Friday. Today, the whole world is shut down. There is a lockdown in the world. But there is no lockdown in our celebration of what Jesus did. There is a lockdown in the world, but there is no lockdown of the sacrifice and the benefit and the activation and reenactment of what Jesus did on the cross for us. 
that cannot be shut down, that cannot be locked down. So if you are joining us, hold hands with your family. Let us go before the Lord this morning and give grace and give praise to the Lord. Give praise to the Lord. Give praise to the Lord. Lift up your voice and bless God. Lift up your voice and bless God. Lift up your voice and bless the Lord. Lift up your voice and bless the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Kabo Shiandalabra. I can never soon be the Cabros Cabellos and Alaba, Raki, the big risk of a lot of us are for the Andrea Tapayana. I can never be seen that I was shot in the break of Balabo. I don't even be a son in the Cabros Cabellos, breaking the break of Sapuri at Alabra. I can never have a son in the Patosia Tapayana. The Devros Cavalier is a terrible. In the name of Jesus, we worship you, we praise you this morning, we give you all the glory. Indeed, this is a great day. Indeed, today is a good day, a good Friday, my God. A day of oh God, Father, you made for oh God. Out of all the Fridays, oh God, you have given us, oh Lord. Today is a great Friday, today is a good Friday, today is a sacrificial Friday, today is the day, my God, my Lord. The blood of oh God, Father, is the blood of oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In Isaiah chapter 53. And the verse 7. We want to thank God for this sacrifice Jesus did on the cross. He said he was oppressed. And he was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth. He was brought as a lamb to the slaughter. And as a sheep before his shepherds is dumb. So he opened not his mouth. He opened not his mouth because he was thinking of you and I. He opened not his mouth because he knows that a day is coming. He opened not his mouth because he knows that many years down the line, a situation will heal the world, will hit the world, and it will be called COVID-19. It will be called coronavirus, and it will it will invade people's hearts and people's lives and lungs and destroy them. But because he was thinking of you and I, he opened not his mouth. This morning, you want to thank God for the sacrifice on the cross. Lift up your voice and say, Lord, we thank you for the sacrifice on the cross. The sacrifice on the cross in the name of Jesus. The songwriter said that because of the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross, he has become our Jehovah Shalom, which means Jesus has become our people. He was thinking of our peace. He was thinking of our joy. He was thinking of our healing. He was thinking of our deliverance. He was thinking of our salvation. He was thinking. He was thinking. He knew. He knew. And therefore, he opened not his mouth. He opened not his mouth. He opened not his mouth. We give you all the glory, O God. Thank you so much, O God, that you thought of me, O God. Thank you that you thought of me, O God. You thought of me, O God. Likabro Satayara. And can I answer your mind? The Rani man can I answer your mind? And can I answer your mind? Yet you be are. We are nobodies. We are nobodies, my God. Because our family backgrounds will not be able to pay for what you have done. My God, in the name of Jesus, and, and because you could not, you did not open your mouth. Today we have liberty. Because you did not open your mouth. Today we have joy. Because you did not open your mouth. Today we have favor. Today we can pray to. Today we are alive. Today we cannot be counted among the sheep of God. My God meant for the slaughter. Because you went to that, oh God, as a lamb to the slaughter. You were led, oh God, and you shed your body. Your fire, your blood was shed, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, you open not your mouth for our sin. We are grateful to God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Beloved. Our last prayer before the service continues, you want to pray that today God will minister to you. You and your family. This day, Jesus will minister to you. Yes, we are in lockdown. We are in lockdown and you are at home. 
this morning it would have been a glorious and a glamorous gathering it would have been a wonderful gathering in the temple that the Lord has raised for himself it would have been a glorious gathering in the transformation center in Jadu but God knows what he's doing and therefore this morning you want to lift up praise you want to lift up your voice and say Lord minister to me O oh God minister to us O oh God as a church Lord minister to us this morning as a church speak your word speak your word someone said master speak for thy servant here I God your word which is able to break asunder your word which is able to break bone and separate bone from the marrow your word O oh God for that which is which is sharper than the sharpest laser your word which is sharper than the sharpest your word which is able to raise the dead, my God, in a brosar, Lini Asoka, bro. Release your word this morning, oh God. Release your word this morning, oh God. Release your word this morning. Let your presence be felt in every single home. As many as will contact and as many as will join in, oh God. Please, Sato, see a Touch them. Let there be healing, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. We can see and all of us, Thank you so much, Lord. Thank you so much for God. That by the mouth of your servant, that by the mouth of your servant, your ordained servant, your chosen vessel for the hour, your chosen and useful vessel for the hour, by the mouth of your servant, let hearts be touched, Lord. Let homes be affected, Lord. Let the healing and deliverance is for God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we pray, O God. I was saying that as Peter, as Paul was preaching, men receive their healing. Want to pray that as your servant preaches for God, my God, men will receive their healing. Men will receive their healing in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, let no man take credit for God for what you will do today. Let no man take credit for what you will do, my God, even across the nations of the world. Let no man take credit, Lord. Glorify yourself. Let your word be delivered according to divine party, Lord. Be delivered according to divine party, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give you praise. We give you worship. In Jesus' name, Amen. Beloved, thank God for your life. God bless you this morning. We have come, the Bible says that we have come to Mount Zion. We have come to the city of the living God. And we have come to a company of innumerable angels. This morning, wherever you are, let me assure you that you are not alone. The angels of the Lord are with us. They are going to join us. We are going to sing harmonious songs, glorious songs. The beauty of the Lord will fall in our midst. And I can assure you, the clouds of the heavens will settle over you and your house. In the name of Jesus Christ, call your people, sons and daughters, husbands and wives, brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers. Come together, hold hands as we enter into a very powerful and a good Friday worship to be led by Pastor Paul. God bless you. It's all about thanksgiving. It's all about worship. It's all about praise unto our God. And this is the reason why we must worship Him. This is the reason why we must praise Him at all times. Paul said in Colossians chapter 1, from the verse 12, said, Giving thanks unto the Father, which has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in that. Giving thanks unto the Father who has qualified you and me to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. In other words, it means that we were not qualified once upon a time. It means that we were strangers to God. It means that the blessings of God, we were not part of it. But God qualified you and I. God made us to be partakers of the blessings of God. And beloved, we want to thank Him. We want to bless Him. The scriptures went further to say 
that who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. We have been delivered. We have been delivered. Once upon a time, we were under the power of Satan. He was manipulating us, using us whichever way he wants to. But God delivered us. We did not pay for it. There is no way we could have paid for it. But God delivered us. God delivered you and I. And he has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Hallelujah. We are no more under the domain or under the rulership or the power of Satan. We are in the kingdom of his dear son. And this we must thank God for. Hallelujah. And it says that in whom we have redemption. Hallelujah. In whom we have redemption through his blood. It is through the blood of Jesus that you and I were redeemed. It is through the blood that you and I have been redeemed. There is no amount of money, no amount of intellectual, no amount of intellectual property, no amount of currency can redeem us. It is only the blood. It is only the blood. And today, as we celebrate Jesus Christ, His sacrifice on the cross, we brought our redemption. You want to appreciate God. Wherever you are, you want to lift your voice, you want to lift your hands, and to worship Him, and to give Him all the praise. You want to join Paul this morning, said, giving thanks unto the Father, who has qualified you, who has qualified me, to be partakers of the inheritance. There is an inheritance now, only which you partake of if you are redeemed by the blood. And you want to thank God for this. Lift your voice wherever you are. You want to present your body as a living sacrifice now, unto the altar of God. With your whole spirit, soul, and mind, body, lift up your voice and worship Him. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. We are grateful for this great work of sacrifice. We are grateful for this great work of sacrifice. Silver and gold did not redeem us. My God, none of them were able to redeem us. It took the blood. It took the blood. It took the blood. Now we can be counted, oh God, among the living. If we are living in Christ Jesus, we can be counted, oh God, as part of the commonwealth of Israel. Say thank you, Lord. We give you words. We give you praise.
worship worthy of the day. God bless you for joining in. We can see all of you that are joining. Call more brothers and call more sisters to join. Because God has a word for you. We are going to receive the word of God. But before the word comes, we want to take a song ministration. And so we will invite Abigail to give us a song ministration.
fishing bearer of ultimate Christian ministry, the Bishop of the House, our father and our mentor, Reverend Dr. Emmanuel Ayakwa. Put your hands together and listen. And God has been gracious to us, he's brought our pastor Atasechi with us. Uh, Wherever you are, just give a clap of freedom to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. This is a special day. Sunday, yes, from home. And like Reverend Namuali said, it is a special Friday in the Fridays of the year. It is the Easter Friday, the Good Friday, which Christians all over the world are celebrating. And uh, I trust that wherever you are joining us on this online service, God is going to bless you. Your life will never be the same again. Because the work of God, the work of Jesus on the cross of Calvary is still prevailing in the lives of people. And this morning, if you can open up to the Spirit of God, to the Word of God, you will experience the power of the blood, the power in the name of Jesus, and the power of the way of God. I want you to understand that there is no distance in the spirit. And so, if you are in the U.S., in Europe, in London, wherever you are in some America, the way of God can reach unto you and the power of God can reach unto you. Ultimate Christian ministry, we are celebrating this day with the team Christ, our sufficiency. Ultimate Christian ministry, this other one we see, but I did Christ to end it in the world. The suffering of Christ is your sufficiency. Yes, no money, no, no, and a mouth you hear. The pains and the challenges and the suffering that Christ went through brings you total liberty. And such any yaw are Christ of firm and a day. And open up and receive the blessing of God. Open up and appropriate the blessings of the cross and the blessings of his death. Your life will never be the same again. Can you say a big amen? amen. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for this blessed Sunday, blessed Friday morning, the Good Friday. A day you have made for us to rejoice and for us to be glad in it. A day of victory, a day of success, a day of divine conquest. We are grateful unto you. Lord, as we preach your word, touch the nations of the world. Amen. Speak to the nations of the world. Amen. Liberate the nations of the world. Amen. Somebody listening to me now, Lord, let the person receive his healing. Yes, and their healing. Amen. And your touch. Amen. And your restoration. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the power in your way reach on to your children. Amen. And bring them total deliverance. Amen. Total healing. Amen. And total restoration. Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God, minister. And glorify yourself in the midst of your people. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Let everybody say Amen. Amen. Christ is your sufficiency. Christ to any And this sufficiency came about through the atonement. Through the 
sacrificial work on the cross of Calvary. Through the shed blood on the cross of Calvary. You and I receive total deliverance. Total liberty. Listen to me. Christ is not going to die or is about to die. Christ has already died on the cross of Calvary. So today we remember what was done and take advantage and receive our blessings. The atonement brought us together, brought us to God. Through the sin of Adam, we were separated from God. A great God was created. And so we couldn't reach up unto God. But through the atonement, at one moment, God brought us back unto himself through the death of his son Jesus Christ. So the death of Jesus brought us back to God. And we receive so much blessings.